next. All the headlines and developing stories on BBC Newsroom Live. And join us later for the BBC News at One. This is BBC News and these are the top stories developing at 11. Cutting the high cost of credit, but campaigners say proposals to protect vulnerable consumers should have gone further. NHS trusts in England report a combined financial deficit of £960 million, nearly twice the expected figure. That just shows how difficult it is in the NHS and we really have to address that now. Calls for the Conservatives to hold an inquiry into alleged Islamophobia within the party. We'll hear from its former chair, Baroness Varsi, shortly. Also, what will Brexit mean to the UK's creative industries? Can the right note be struck to safeguard thousands of jobs at stake? We'll speak to screenwriter Phil Redmond in the next few minutes. And the young German tennis star falling in love with the Yorkshire accent. You clearly enjoy your tennis. You say you don't Not know. Not as much as your accent, buddy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hello, good morning. It is Thursday, the 31st of May. I'm Anita McVeigh and welcome to BBC Newsroom Live. The UK's financial watchdog has announced a crackdown on companies which offer credit with high rates of interest. The Financial Conduct 